Yeah, 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 yeah. Steven. Yeah, yeah. So I should stay here? Yes, it's okay. A few seconds, yes, okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Please sit down, take your take seats. Close the door. And we, we continue our daily master classes. Okay. We have great, great pleasure. After many years of waiting, I think more than 10 years, yes? <laughs> Last time, uh, Ulf Berlin, please accept Ulf Berlin, the wonderful professor and pedagogue and the uh, violinist, the joint capital and faculty. Thank you. And uh, Ulf Berlin was supposed to come here first time uh, this more than 10 years ago, I don't remember already, time running fast. And then circumstances didn't allow him uh, to attend last moment. And uh, I'm so happy that now it's the, the miracle happened and you are again here in the Western Galilee with us at Kibbutz Elon. And we're so happy that you're giving this masterclass. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to you. I will sit down here. Thank you. 
beautiful, beautiful. Uh, since when do you play this concerto? Um, I started it like two years ago. Oh, two years ago for like two months and then I took a break. Yeah. And then I picked it up like two weeks ago. <laughs> okay, it was probably very good, very good indeed. Um, I don't know what, how to say it, but normally, when you're talking about Mozart concerti, it's almost about what not to do. Scaring by auditions, by competitions, and we forget the rich, uh, rich um, impression of this music. Um, can you tell me, quite a lot, um, how did you play now? Um, sorry, can you be more specific? Yeah. No, you have to. Uh, how did you play? You played for us now, your impression of your playing. Um, as in like, the, the good or bad or like the character? Excuse me? Wait, um, can you ask one more time? <laughs> you played for us now, you made a f wonderful performance. It was wonderful. So, your opinion about your playing now. Uncomfortable. Okay, one point. Next one. Um, I felt like too much energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and my violin sounds weird right now. It sounds weird. Okay. Soon mine also. Okay, what more? Um. <laughs> okay. Put it like this, we should be critical, always when we perform when playing the fiddle or making music, but cr to be critical means also to recognize what we did well or good. So what was f satisfying this time? What did you do well or better normally than normally? Uh, <laughs> normally is usually better. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> In performances also. Um, I am performing. Okay, so what uh, are your qualities from playing? Um, I have too much energy when I come on stage. That's a quality, yeah. a positive quality. Oh, um. I make life so hard for her, I'm sorry. No, but you know, it's very easy to say that's not good, that could be better, faster, lower, whatever. But it's also important uh, um, to recognize how, what, do you, what do you do well? How is your sound, how are you feeling, uh, or uh, thrills, or what passage, uh, uh, which passage did you like while you're playing now? It's very easy to say it was not good, and you go home. You have to recognize what wasn't so good, what you can do better, and also what's, what's better. We never play bad or good is better or worse. So, something positive in your playing today? I like the character. Hmm? The character? Yeah. Can you give me uh, something you think uh, succeeded very well here? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, okay. I will short it up, but it's very important, I think, when you're studying the violin or when you're playing, to be critical, yes. But to be critical is not just to find the, the mistakes, also to find what is getting better or what was not so bad. But if you do like this, it's, you punish yourself. It's very hard to go on stage in that case. And I think, I mean, I, my experience, the people playing, the students playing the Mozart number one, they play much better because they don't know the concert so much than the number four. We always know what not to do. You understand what I mean? So can you play the begin? Perhaps uh, uh, play it one, uh, one octave lower. Please, one octave lower. Okay, one octave lower, even lower. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, 
So when we go here, we suddenly we hear, we do this. So we don't breathe. Stay down. Like the feeling when you play. Stay or to go even deeper. Yeah? Let's try it like Britain. thing I think um, is feedback from the orchestra is also very important. One other thing, uh, when you play with orchestra, probably you will play with the orchestra, not just stand like this. Um, why do you do this? 30 seconds before. I think you have to go together. I think if you want to be secure, you should not, not play the violin. Uh, you should love the risks. But how can you find the note? You, it's not how to find it. Find it. You know, you, you understand me? Because otherwise you stand like this and you think, what is she doing? We don't listen to the pianist or the orchestra anymore. So it make, makes you unsecure to be secure. So let's start again. And you put on the finger when you play. <laughs> If you want to make a recording, it's done. You can't do that. Okay, okay. Let's do it the last time. Uh, and take Julia with you. With you. Invite her. Can you play that alone one time? Yeah. Uh. Can you play without ornament? Stay with this line, and then you can make the uh, Can you play the spiccato? Yeah, leggero, leggero. Yeah, legato. Like, like written. I can, I hear the shifting. So sometimes it's good to practice legato things in spiccatissimo, <laughs> then you can avoid or you learn the right timing for the shifting. Or you make a stupid finger and it works. So you just go one, 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 like in the school. Yeah. Right? Okay. You can test it. Now it is out of tune, but it, it looks better. No, but uh, test it to what's better. And always figure out which fingering are better that day, and you go on with that. Let's play with it. Uh, you like, mm, pop, 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 We don't listen to it, but this is tricky. Yeah, and tiga, 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 tiga. go for the steps. Next step, next step. When you play, you know, all of them. First step, second step, and then ti, ya, di, da, dum. You're doing that very well. I will do even more. Ti, ya, di, da, dum. So I'll go to the A. Can we do this again? It's very sympathetic. All the most important notes, we have to check this. Oh, no, no, 50, 50, 
T-shirt. All important notes from Mozart's written small. Take them out. It's very simple. You see, yes, yeah. And also, uh, oh, stick out, okay, try that. Alone. Yeah, even more stick out, though. Go to the upper. Then you have the first beat. Tiyom pong go there. No? No. So no accent there. No. Just in the small notes. Okay. Let's try it in tempo. Go on. Tiyom pong. Tiyom pong. Written now with Julia together? Uh, yeah. Almost play the whole time, but a little long, but not so long break. Play the piano on the violin. Just stay there. Yeah. Uh, Whatever. Well, yeah, that's good. That's good. And be careful. Don't make two echoes. <laughs> it's perhaps too soft the first time. More. Yeah. Don't be afraid to play Mozart. Take time. Can you play that 
that slowly, though. Slow with Julia together. It's a careful without vibrato. Can you start on the same point again? <laughs> yes. That if you play for audition or a competition, you, you would play the pianist. Then you have to intonate like this. With orchestra, definitely not. Then you can. Uh, you can a little depressive uh, intonation. Be, be careful with the piano. You hear it. So that, that means if you play with the strings, you can play it's okay. The piano not. Just play out of tune. Enjoy it. <laughs> you know, because if you practice like this, you don't need it. It's nothing. If you play convincing, you hear, okay, it's too high. I do it better next time. Otherwise, it's nothing. Or if you don't want to practice it, you tell Julia, don't play that loud. Yeah. Then <laughs> also possibility. Okay, now. <laughs> Surprise, we know it's so good that we play it. It doesn't matter if minor or major, but perhaps a little more so, so uh, thoughtful. In the recap, it, it goes straight ahead. On the chart. Okay, let's try again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> But yum, bum, perhaps more. It's fine. I think you could, if you want to, um, look here, you can open up much, much more. Then you can go back like you did. Can you try that? The next, uh, the, uh, yes. It's very, very good. When you play 
very fast eh, in slow motion. It's like. Let's go to the second and fourth beat. More. Can you play just for fun? Let's check. I'm showing too fast, my fault. Check. <laughs> Next step. Don't be afraid. so well it can be better could be better so if you wouldn't play so fine I wouldn't say that but if you check up that better and also uh, I would play more yes time yeah can you put this uh, up top and then just share Just change the fingers. Yes, just a little, tiny little. Then you can, you have the, you can go higher then. Okay, we do that together. And go to the second and fourth beat. Yeah, you could go with the woodwinds. You know the could also be possible, but try to make a wave. Okay, and when you play, very good. When you play piano, you have to play even more precise. Da -da 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 -da. More play, yeah? More piccato. Try again. Is it for me, the tempo is for me very laid back, very slow, for me, the person. doesn't mean staccato, it's just non legato. So you can play da -da 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 -da. a mixture of both of them. Try again. Yeah, just go with the harmony, that's easy. In tempo, it's fine, it's travel. Yeah. It's 
fine, mm -hmm. very good. Here, we do very often pianismo diminendo, but the corni are coming, un da do, ro, di, obo, two octaves, lower, so you have to di, yom, bom. I would make a crescendo to the bass. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.
since when do you study the concerto? Mm -hmm. Wow, bravo, that's <laughs> something. <laughs> Heartbeat. Okay. Um, have you, I mean, that's not too important, but have you seen what Joachim wrote about the metronome for the first movement? I'm not a friend of metronome, but it's just an indication about the character. You mean the oligo melancholy? Yeah, yeah. 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 You know how fast? We, we will not do it now. It's 126. This is amazing fast. Um, what I wanted to say is just what I like what you did now, you made long lines. Very fine. But sometimes it's D, 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 D. It's fine. Lines are fine. And keep going like that. Um, but also, really, it's a very dramatic beginning. I don't know any piece that's a more dramatic begin. Um, he was related to the Beethoven concerto, we know that. But which concerto was Brahms' favorite concerto? You, do you know that? I have Tchaikovsky favorite concerto, but I don't know Brahms' favorite concerto. <laughs> OK, but Brahms, what do you think? Which one? I received some help from my teacher somewhere. <laughs> Yes, uh, no, no, no the, the favorite was Viotti number 22. So uh, Brahms forced Joachim to play number 22. So the end, we will not do it. There's a Viotti bowing. Mm -hmm. This kind of, hello. Um, I'm sure also that Brahms studied very well the Schumann concerto, with which he refused to edit later. If you look at the end of Schumann concerto, of the first movement, the coda, it says da li 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 lam, da li 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 la la, but it's different bowing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, perhaps it got some inspiration there. Mm -hmm. Bruce's concerto was one year before. So, um, it's a symphony written for piano hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here we go. Can you make uh, your entrance, uh, try to make, we make another version. <laughs> That's good. Sorry. Uh, we go, you make a long note instead of, instead of that. Yeah? No, yes. Like this. Yeah, or up, down, down. You cannot, yeah. Okay? Can we play some bars before you play this version? around it, can I have your egg? You're, you're still on the D. You're, you're still in the D. So don't relax here. You could test another Boeing. I know we do or we take, but you can also. Important anyway is that the D if you keep it like that, you kill the sound. And also, we mix more open D string at the very beginning. The going. Can you do that? Yes, up on the string. Not from the air, from the string. And then go to the. Yes. Yeah. For fun, we try four plus six. I know it's wrong. Yeah, pa 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 do your old old bowing, but this new new rhythmic sense. So okay. four and six. Yeah. Yeah. Without accents. Yeah. It's kind. Yeah. Five plus five. I feel ten notes, or I in the D. So if you play it like a healthy musician, like you are. Probably you play five plus five, but it's, it's like an uh, accelerando, so more near to four plus six. I don't want you to play like the I don't want that, but still set the first note, and then you can go on. Yeah, and I don't know if you, I don't know how you will react in front of orchestra, but uh, probably you will not play broader. If you play at home, it's too short. Yum, bum, bum, yes. Also, 
go in this, go in this very more contact. Can you try that in tempo? Yeah, papa. Come close, come close, the come from the string. Yeah, from here. The left. Okay. Can we do the very beginning now, like written? Okay. Like written the. Not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't hear you. You know, dum, bum, bum, de, 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 you get lost in this cloud. So play an ugly D string. Yeah. Is it more, more Keith? Yes. Yeah. Why? Yam, ba, ba. Yam, bum, bum. Heavy, heavy. Stressful tempo, dramatic tempo. <laughs> so, and that, that I can do that also. Play some notes, people, please. Sit down on the syncope, but if you they make it, yeah, bum, bum. I think honestly, it's a variation. Yeah, yeah, bum, bum, yeah, bum, bum, bum. But still, I think the B flat is the the goal of it. Mm -hmm. Even if you play accents there, uh, can we go on there from? The, yeah. It's fine, it's good, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. But don't relax. Uh, can you practice the can you do because you do very much action. Also, practice. You can make different accents when you practice. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Yes. Okay. And also keep in your mind. Everything is it. 
If you do this, you get stiff here. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop. Yeah. Can you play three, three in legato? Yeah, you can with the tambo. Okay, begin opposite. Yeah, you do it here and here. Uh, it's perhaps it's boring, but, but it's uh, I important. You have six notes, five notes, four notes, three notes. It's a written uh, retard, but stay please in tempo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can play but then go on in tempo. Mm -hmm. But I would practice really carefully like that. Mm -hmm. Probably with orchestra we'll hear, if we hear you, but try to be mm -hmm. a part of it. Um, can we start from there? Ding bong ding. From here? Oh, okay. From here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. You okay, record. Yeah, you will have catch up. So you have seen it. You know, ding bong bong. Drums is always music. So take out those steps here. I don't hear them. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, we know that. The next, next part of this. Put the uh, stick. No, put the person on stick. That's your anchor. Okay, right. Uh, can we start? Uh, let's do the same again. and make it a dando for the flute player. Then they get used to, to come late in the concert, even later, and too high, and too loud. Uh, so just keep going when you're playing in the rehearsal. And uh, as uh, uh, Mr. Kalle told yesterday, no Mozart, more full sound. You need it. Yeah. The character is most important. It's written piano, but you can't survive with that. But the character of uh, a piano, if you play B flat major, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now you're overdoing Overdo. this step. But you should know him, and then you do a tight little, yeah? Mm -hmm. Tiny little, yeah? Uh, uh, can we speed up a little? Always, always look if the piano is still sitting there. Yes. Sit there, Sorry. slow. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't need to. Hey, go to lower voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, the first time you play the main theme in maggiore now. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you don't have to be too... You can play it more free. Can you for, uh, test it to play it up bow? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Baritone. 
Okay, but uh, try to avoid uh, this kind of this um You could also or practice carefully mm -hmm. or theta here ta 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 you can separate it mm -hmm. from practicing the four Okay Play, play, shoot, yeah. uh, left. Uh, okay. Yeah, and for this, just for you to know, this chord, you will never hear by orchestra. Mm -hmm. It's not written. It's mm -hmm. just for this, but it's Elba Brahms. Mm -hmm. So, it is, uh, uh, with orchestra, you have to keep going. And also with the, uh, with the piano. And take out the dissonance, it's, it's so nice, you know, with that it was told, told yes, there's a, you know, there's, take them out, okay. don't hide them. Yes. If you would be a singer, when it, uh, if you would sing, you would you would never sing like that. Yeah. Well, how would you sing a note like that? Um, how would you sing? Da, 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 you would, da, da, you would up, open up the song, probably. And you could do the end. Yeah, yeah you I could guess. do. Uh, that's very important, the G sharp. Da, da, di, do. Then mm -hmm. you can relax a little. Yeah, you don't have to make a sofa there, sit okay. down, you know, yes, no. Uh, you can play calm, tranquilo, but not that we come to a Dacio tuberculoso, you know, it's just too oh, heavy. In the viola play, you know, da, da, di, ya, then mm -hmm. they go down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to look up a little. It's very easy to hear when you play on the frog and the tip. Mm -hmm. Can you play up bow on the D? Um. It should be, uh, with a good bow technique, it, should, it shouldn't make any difference if you play up or down, but just test it. No, up. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, when you play this... You, you have to make a crescendo with, with the vibrato yeah. also, it's the same speed. Okay, can you play it again? One or play lower. You can play down or up, or I don't care. From here. This when we play here, we do always like this. Go down like this. Mm -hmm. Try to feel one of pay lower and play like written. Okay. Good. One 
other thing, I don't want to be analytic, but if you have the same speed, I would slow, I would go on with it as possible. Very good. Perhaps try to get four bars together instead of two. Da 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 da. End. Da 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 da. No. Um. Da 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 da. Next variation. Yeah. Da 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 da. good bowing to add this note. Can you just try to play like written? Uh, probably, yeah, but probably it's, it's to recommend to do that, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But just try like Brahms wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, where can we begin? What's the best? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, can you try not to say yeah, you can do this. Yeah. Keep going. It's tiny, no? It's the point is it's important to try it like written. Mm -hmm. And then you know I have to break against the rule of whatever uh, because it sounds better. I would you also hardly, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, but I would hardly recommend you to do like you did first time, but yes, try always like to return and then you can check mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, go from the field. <laughs> yeah, listen to the harmony, it sounds. <laughs> 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 This F you can begin much lower. Yes, can you do it again? Now we are quiet, slow enough to <laughs> say. Yeah. It's okay to calm down, but uh, can we, uh, can we begin there again without you? Just listen to the orchestra. So we almost just don't need the violinist. So you're just navigating around. Um, can you play them like double stops? Like, uh, yes. Would be okay, okay, that. Yeah. And now, when you play this variation or around it, you can do more, less, more. I don't see. Yeah. But don't teach the audience. Just a little uh, thoughtful, you know, you see. Yeah. 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 And sometimes also try like written and then to be cool with what you're doing. How do you do you practice this part? Intonation. Question. Intonation. Uh, well, I removed the E, obviously. Hmm? I removed the, the mi from, yeah. from the chorus. Yeah. What is the only constant the whole time? The, the mi. Mi. You can't change that. No, so that's the law. So I would go for that. 
you know, if you... Uh, It doesn't matter if the if it doesn't fit mm -hmm. then. So I would uh, practice those songs in the opposite way. Can you show me? Slow. I'm showing too fast myself. Like Richard from there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What would happen if you would make a wave? Pa 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 pi yum bum 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 go more to that now. Can we try? Here, you make wonderful crescendi, but then you make for, uh, forte piano. Try to get a long line. Can we play that part? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> You play da 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 You make it faster. da 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 Okay. Okay. okay, and the loudest note is uh, fortunately E major in the orchestra. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Bravo, Thank bravo, bravo. bravo.